Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be installing our custom oil pan for the OM617. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean off the bottom side of this oil pan with some brake parts cleaner so that we can get our paint marker to stick. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark out the oil pan area that we need to trim out so that we get oil flow. So on this piece right here, you have a drain tube coming from the turbo and it sends the oil back into the crankcase. So we're going to mark out an area of approximately one inch one inch long and you can go over you just don't want to go under by a quarter inch high And now I'm going to grind this portion out here, and that's going to allow oil to flow through the slot that we grind in there, because when we put the oil pan up, it'll be flat all the way across for clearance purposes. So we have to open that up by grinding a little notch out of there so that the oil from the turbo can come back to the crankcase. So I'm going to grind that out, and we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. One thing you want to make sure you take extreme care in doing is shielding the rest of your internals from grinding dust. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff a whole bunch of shop rags up in here and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tape it all off and the only thing I'm going to be able to see is that little portion there where I'm grinding and that way I don't have to worry about getting contaminants in my motor. And then when I'm done, and I have my oil pan installed, I'm going to fill the engine up with about one gallon of diesel fuel. And that's just going to help get a bunch of crud out of the engine also. So, I'm going to grind this, and then I'll be back. Welcome back. Now you can see how we've gone in and we've taped off everything on the underside of the oil pan. Um, and you can see here how we've ground out with trying to make a smooth transition up into the oil pan just so that there aren't any stress risers, any sharp corners on there. And now when the oil pan gets mounted up, you'll still have this little hole from the side for things to come out. So our next step is to remove everything off the bottom of the oil pan and we're going to come in with our cleaning wheel and clean up our gasket mating surface and then just clean out as much of the contamination that might be there as possible while we have the oil pan off. So we'll get all that done and then we'll meet you back here. Hello and welcome back. Now that we've gone ahead and cleaned the bottom side of our oil pan mating surface we are going to be installing our oil pan so first thing you'll do is get your gasket out get that into position some people will recommend that you take a very thin film of RTV and apply it to both sides to get this to hold in place and take up any small discontinuities in the mating surfaces and that's okay um, I typically like to apply them dry because it's less clean up for me the next time that I have to uh, drop the oil pan for something. But we're going to get this positioned and mount it up and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done.
One thing I like to do when I'm installing the oil pan is use an impact to go around and basically get the screws what I would call finger tight and then once we're done with that we'll go around and torque the oil pan in sequence. This is especially important with the stock oil pan because if you torque it out of sequence or over torque it you'll warp the oil pan flange and then you'll start experiencing leaks. So we're going to go ahead and get each fastener started and then um, hit them with the impact just to snug the pan up and then we'll go around and torque them all in sequence. And make sure you have your lock washer installed on your new stainless steel fastener there. Now we have our oil pan loosely mounted up and the importance of going around and torquing this in sequence isn't so much to do with warping this new quarter inch thick steel flange as to protect the threads that are in the oil crankcase because it's really easy to over torque this steel fastener and just suck those aluminum threads right out of the crankcase. So uh, next step we're going to go through is torquing each fastener in sequence and then we're done. Uh, your oil pan should come to you with a new drain plug bolt and crush washer and like I said before the next step will be to flush the engine out with a gallon of diesel fuel um, just to help get a bunch of that crud out of there especially all the soot and carbon buildup from the 200,000 miles that are on this motor here and then we'll fill it up with clean oil and we'll be ready to go.